Hello and welcome to Case of the Day. So I'm Dr. Jim Crowley and I'd like to welcome you here. We always at the end of the day sort of discuss an interesting case uh, that we saw this this day in the office and so today's a really interesting case. Uh, a gentleman comes in around age 40 who uh, decided to improve his golf swing so bought one of these at home um, gadgets where I guess there's a net where you hit a golf ball in the net, maybe a video camera, and so it was sort of a self-analysis uh, system for his golf swing. And so I guess he got tired of hitting the little styr the little styrofoam or sort of Nerf kind of golf balls, and instead went to I think to one of the stores and didn't buy a golf ball, but something that was a lot more solid than the Nerf ball that he was hitting, because I guess maybe he liked the sound of the uh, of hitting it, or as I guess as guys are, it's more fun to to be able to hit something hard. So he bought this ball. And unfortunately, as he's practicing his golf swing, he misses the net and hits the frame of the net and the ball comes back and hits him right in the eye. Um, so he comes in complaining of blurred vision and pain in his eye. It turns out his vision wasn't that blurred. It was about 2040 uncorrected and actually with a small amount of a minus uh, prescription or minus lens. He was still 2020 in the eye, but his pupil was now dilated and larger than his other eye and did not move very much when we shined a light in his eye so his reaction, pupil reaction was diminished uh, because actually the, the contusion of the golf ball in his eye had actually torn some of the muscles so the uh, muscles in your iris constrict and relax to make your pupil go up and down and so these muscles had been torn just like pulling a hamstring in a, in a sport so this so his muscles had been torn slightly and uh, that caused the pupil to be dilated and I could see with the microscope at the slit lamp uh, which is a microscope that we examine the eye with little little tears in his iris muscle so uh, his pressure was normal that day and his dilated eye exam everything in his retina was normal because he had some very mild inflammation in his eye, we put him on a prednisone or cortisone eye drop to use four times a day. He came back uh, a week later, which is today, and today he's complaining of more blurred vision. His eye's not as sore, feels better, but his vision is now up to about 2060, and now he's a minus 150 uh, amount of nearsightedness or a myope. Uh, and still 2020 vision though, so evidently he may be having some spasm that's causing uh, his uh, eye to be more nearsighted. We're not really sure yet how that's going to pan out. And um, his pupil had actually come down and gotten better, so his pupil was smaller and now reacting to light. Uh, and so that part looked good. The inflammation was gone out of his eye, but his eye pressure was now 38. 10 to 21, we sort of consider a normal pressure, and now his eye pressure in this eye was 38. So um, there could be several reasons for his pressure to be up, which is which could be he may be developing secondary glaucoma due to his eye injury, which can occur uh, from injuries, and usually that is where the iris is torn away from its uh, attachment to. The, inside the eye and you get an angle recession. I did a gonioscopy is where we take a contact lens and put on that that has a mirror so I can see out in the angle of where the uh, fluid drains out of the eye and um, the eye that had the injury there was a he was a dark brown eyed individual and there was a lot of pigment in the little mesh work that looks like cheesecloth where the fluid drains through and compared to his other eye and so evidently the contusion of this ball had dispersed a lot of the pigment from his iris into his angle and maybe the cause, we'll find out when things clear up a little bit better, uh, maybe is what's causing his glaucoma. So someone who has a significant eye injury uh, actually is at risk of glaucoma from usually angle recession. And so if you've had a significant injury to your eye, you do need to be careful about getting your eye pressure checked because this glaucoma could show up years later, actually, even. So um, he's yet to come back. We're treating his eye pressure, and I'm sure that's going to come down. I don't know yet exactly where this particular individual is going to end up with a permanent 
secondary glaucoma, or whether this is temporary elevation of his pressure. Also, people can get elevation of their pressures from using prednisone, which we use to calm his eye down, and some people are what are called steroid responders, which means their eye pressure goes up once they're on a, either prednisone by eye drop, or if you're taking a prednisone or a cortisone systemically, it can cause your eye pressure to go up, or if you've had an injection say for a back or a knee problem of cortisone, that can actually raise your eye pressure as well. So you need to know that one of the side effects of cortisone is a, a rise in your intraocular pressure and it also can cause cataracts. So interesting case that unfortunately this gentleman hit his golf ball into the frame, hit back and hit his eye. I, I think long term, most likely it'll be okay. Hopefully he will not end up with a, uh, a permanent secondary glaucoma. So uh, if you have any questions, you can try to contact us through uh, the website, and I'll be happy to try to answer those. And you uh, have a great day. May God grant you excellent vision and healthy eyes.